Rheumatoid arthritis is the second most common type of arthritis. The joints most commonly affected are in the wrists, hands, knees, ankles, and feet. It typically occurs at the same joint on both sides of the body. It can also affect other organs in the body, such as the eyes, skin, heart, lungs, kidneys, nervous system, and digestive tract. General symptoms, fever, weakness, fatigue and tiredness, loss of appetite, numbness, pain symptoms, Pain is mild to moderate and localized over fingers mostly at metacarpophalangeal joint during the early stage of the disease. Pain is on and off, often with period of less or no pain for several days during earlier stage of the disease. Finger and hand pain caused by rheumatoid arthritis is often most severe in the morning. Patient often complains of joint swelling. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disorder. This means the body attacks itself by mistake. In rheumatoid arthritis, the immune system attacks joint and organ tissues. Here's how it happens. The white blood cells of the immune system move into the joint. They release chemicals called cytokines, which attack the cells of the synovial membrane. These chemicals cause synovial cells to release other destructive substances. They also cause the synovial membrane to grow new blood vessels and form a thickened area called a panis. Over time, as the panis grows, it invades and destroys areas of cartilage and bone inside the joint. Inflammation causes fluid buildup in the joint, making the joint swell. Eventually, without treatment, the joint space narrows and ankylosis can occur. Ankylosis is fusion, or growing together, of bones in the joint. This results in the loss of the ability to move the joint. Investigations and lab tests. X-ray, MRI and CAT scan. Ultrasound tests. Blood examination. Urine analysis tests. Conservative treatment. Heat therapy. Cold therapy. The following types of medications can be prescribed by the doctor. Then SCIDS, prednisone and corticosteroid therapy, muscle relaxants, adjuvant medications, DMARDs, immunosuppressants, TNF, alpha inhibitors. For severe rheumatoid arthritis that has not been helped by other treatments, a doctor may recommend a surgical procedure. For example, a joint replacement procedure, also known as an arthroplasty, may be recommended. For joints that are difficult to replace, joint fusion, also known as arthrodesis, may be recommended. During this procedure, the joint is removed and the bones are fused together with bone graft. Another surgical procedure for severe rheumatoid arthritis is a synovectomy. During this procedure, the synovial membrane surrounding the joint is removed. In some cases, an arthritic joint may need to be replaced with an artificial joint. 